Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, deal with every triathlete's nightmare, a puncture. So the first thing we need to do is get the wheel out of the bike. So I've released the brake, just open the quick release lever, unwind it, and drop the wheel out. So the first thing we're going to do is take the valve cap off. Next bit is to take the tyre off. Now most people struggle with tyre levers, but there's actually a really easy technique if you just use your thumbs. So you place the wheel on the ground, push your thumbs into the top, pull it back, and then use your body weight just to take the entire tube. It takes the tube and the tyre off in one go, and it's much easier to deal with. Once we've done that, we need to just discard the punctures in the tube, so just put that down to one side. The next thing we need to do is to actually check that the, the debris or the, the glass or whatever is in the tyre, we take that out. So we'll have a quick check through, just making sure you don't cut yourself on whatever it is that's caused a puncture. Pop the tyre back on. So you do that by placing the tyre on the ground, trapping it with the wheel. If you position one side of the tyre, like that, so you can see just one side of the tyre is positioned onto the rim. The next thing I'm going to do is I've got my new inner tube. So I need to put a little bit of air into the inner tube just to give it a little bit of shape. So you just take the valve off again. Just put a little bit of air in the inner tube. We find the valve hole, position the valve of the inner tube into the rim. And then pop that back on. And then all you do then is feed the tyre back on using your hands and your thumbs push it around and then use the palm of your hand instead of tyre levers there you go that's the tyre back on so all we need to do now is to make sure that the inner tube is sat inside the tyre before we reinflate the tyre so you do that by literally just wiggling the tyre and making sure that if you check carefully on both sides that the inner tube has disappeared and then we're ready to pump it back up Now I've just put a little bit of air in, I haven't gone all the way up to full pressure just yet. I'm just going to check that the tyre is seated correctly before I go any further. I'm just gently going to spin the... Yeah, that's fine. So now I can pump it all the way up to say 100 psi or whatever I require. Check everything again before I put it back on the bike and then reinstall the wheel back into the forks. So I'm just going to make sure I close the valve, uh, dust cover and uh, back on. So simply just make sure the brakes are clear, slide the wheel up, yeah, tighten the nut and then close the lever and then spin the wheel just to make it sure everything's okay. The last thing to do, most importantly, is to put the brakes back on. Yeah, fine, we're ready to go racing.